Hi, my name is Corey Davis. I'm a senior at Florida State University and I specialize in networking and databases. Today we're going to be talking about how to wire a Cat5 cable and the benefits of doing it yourself. The main benefit of wiring your own Cat5 cables is cost. Cat5 cables can cost up to a dollar a foot for custom drops, so doing it yourself can save you a lot of money. Okay, so here we have our tools for wiring. Our crimper, punch down, Cat5 cable, RJ45 male end, and RJ45 female end. Now, to start with the male end, we'll use the wire and we'll order the pairs in a configuration B. White orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue, green, white brown, brown. When in this configuration, we can take this and insert it into the RJ45 male end and then use the crimper on it to finalize the process. So here my cables are ordered. Take this and insert it into my RJ45 male end. Now see, I left enough room here for the crimper to crimp the casing down on top of it so I'm not uh, putting it on top of the pins. So take this, insert it into my crimper like so. Crimp down until it releases. Now you have a completed RJ45 male end of your Cat5 cable. Now to complete the other part, the female end. The female end has a color-coded segment that shows you where to put the pins. So I'll take it and put the white blue here, blue here. white orange here, orange here. I'll punch down this side first. Using my punch down tool I take this with the razor blade end on the outside, that's the pointed end. Place it over the pin and push down until I hear the click. Following the rest and completing it with the color coding, you can complete the RJ45 female end. Then you'll have a drop cable and everything is done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other questions, there are many online resources that can help you. Have a nice day.